Welcome back, operators, to another episode here on the SITREP Podcast. I'm your host, Ariskany Jim, and today we're going to take a look at Operation Torch. This is one of the scenarios that you can play in the old SSI retro wargaming classic, Allied General. So Allied General is kind of the uh, second edition, if you will, of the classic Panzer General system. I think it came out on PlayStation 1 and PC. Good God. I think it was 1994. I uh, could be wrong about that date. Maybe 1995. Um, and then Allied General came out after that, and then Panzer General 2, and People's General, and so on and so forth. So we're going way back to a, to, excuse me, to a game that's damn near almost 30 years old. Um, this game has, of course, sort of fallen into the abandoned wear sort of uh, space. So some other people, uh, whose names do escape me at the moment, I apologize for that, have uh, picked it up and uh, kind of given it a new lick of paint, so to speak. They haven't changed any of the mechanics. They haven't really updated the graphics, although they did sharpen them, if that makes any sense. Uh, it Basically, they took the old graphics and they had it where it would play on a 1080 system or something like that. It still looks delightfully terrible, trust me. And uh, as you'll see in just a second. But that's the whole charm of the game, if you ask me. Um, the sound effects, of course, you hear the music in the background. The music's still the same. And, um, yeah, they added some new things. Some uh, some little cheat codes and some other, you know, great little stuff. So it's free to download if you go to uh, Panzer General Forever. Uh, you'll find a website and there's a free, like, 1.02 uh, download that you can do on it. It might not play too well on Windows 10. I think they went up as far as Windows 9, and then they kind of... That's, that's what they say on their website. Um, so it might not uh, it may not play uh, great on really up-to-date systems. But again, this is a game from 1993. So uh, I'm just checking out the chat here. Um, so Hogash stuff says, yep, that's correct. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, thanks, Because Science Teacher. Uh, we do have a bunch of new... Ooh, because Science Teacher has resubscribed with her Prime. So, for she's been subscribed for 23 solid months. Because Science Teacher, we definitely appreciate it. We also appreciate uh, all of our new subscribers on YouTube. And we even have some new uh, followers on our Discord. So, uh, we're growing, um, you know, stubbornly. <laughs> Uh, on pretty much all of our platforms, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, I think right now we're also broadcasting on Facebook. So if you're watching us on Facebook, super appreciate it. And uh, welcome to the... Again, this is going to be a super casual uh, edition here of the show here today, folks. So again, we're doing Operation Torch in Ally General. Why Operation Torch? Because Operation Torch took place in November. And it's fun to talk about. Um, we tend to aim somewhat at the uh, anniversaries. So Operation Torch, super fast, uh, was the Allied landings in what was then Axis-controlled Vichy French. Gotta remember, the French kind of split into two camps uh, near the beginning of World War II there. This is Vichy French-controlled colonies in Northwest Africa. Basically, we're talking about modern-day Morocco and Algeria. Um, the British were in the process of winning the Battle of El Alamein at the time. In fact, they had just won it. And uh, they really kind of torn the heart out of what was left of uh, Rommel's Africa Corps. And he was trying to retreat out of western Egypt across Libya and get back to Tunisia. Meanwhile, the Americans and the British had an operation, also the Free French were involved, where they were going to try to hit Rommel in the back by landing troops, again, on the other side of the coast, uh, I'm sorry, on the other side of the continent, again, um, Morocco and Algeria, and they were going to reach um, Tunisia, you know, coming the other way, coming out of the west. Um, it didn't really work, at least not as fast or as uh, decisively as the Allies hoped. Um, the Vichy French put up one hell of a battle, uh, probably a lot stronger than they should have. Nevertheless, that's what happened. This delayed the Allies getting uh, a good, firm foothold in Northwest Africa. Then they had some confusion. 82nd Airborne literally almost landed in the wrong country. Uh, there was a lot of problems. You guys got to remember, this was the first time the Americans had ever really put boots in the sand and gotten into actual eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball combat with the Germans, at least in the ground forces uh, in World War II. So they definitely like the world's biggest expansion team at this point. Um, and uh, they, they weren't doing very well. 
and the, the British were there, the French were there, the Free French were there, the Vichy French were there. We had to sort that out. Uh, whose side are the French really on? It, it's, it was a mess. Then by the time the Allies kind of get their head pulled out of their third point of contact and started heading west, sorry, out of the west into the east, um, it was already like December, January of 1943. The rains had come. Yes, it does rain in North Africa. It rains quite a bit, and when it does, that whole area just turns into an ocean of mud. Long story short, take your first shot. The Germans had plenty of time to bring in plenty of reinforcements, and we have this huge battle in Algeria and Tunisia. Think the first couple of minutes of the movie Patton um, is where we see a lot of that desert fighting, and the Americans do not do well. Trust me. Uh, Sidi Bouzid, um, Zablita, Kesserine Pass. The Americans get the ever-living hell beat out of them because they're brand new. They don't, they don't, you know, this is their first time that their army has really come to uh, come to grips with the Germans. So we'll see if we do any better today. I should also note that in the actual torch landings, which is what this game is going to attempt to approximate, didn't really fight the Germans, fought the Vichy French. And uh, even the Vichy French put up a heck of a lot bigger fight than they had any right to, um, given the fact that they were colonial forces, a little bit better than a colonial police force. Um, nevertheless, they really, I mean, this is, this is something you don't see in the movie Patton. Patton really got his teeth kicked in uh, at Casablanca by the French. Yeah, the movie doesn't show you that, because it's interested in showing you the best side of Patton. They leave out a lot of the warts. And, uh, yeah, Patton really did get his ass handed to him a little bit. He eventually did, you know, rally his force and, and, and take his objectives, but um, expect some stiff competition in today's uh, today's game. Okay, so here is our map, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. I see how many viewers we have. We got plenty of viewers, but not a whole lot of... Uh, not a whole lot of comments. That's cool if you guys are just, you know, hanging out. Again, today is going to be super, uh, uh, yeah, super laid back, super casual. We're just playing around with a, a PC game of all things. That's all fine. Okay, so um, most of these forces are mine. We do have some enemy forces already in contact. Let me see what I can... Uh, yep. So there we go, 11th French Vichy Infantry. I know they have a little German crosser, but those are actually French troops. Uh, so I do have some French forces I'm already in contact with. Those are enemy French troops. These are enemy French troops. All right. Do I have any ships in the scenario? Nope. Super small scenario. Uh, again, very casual kind of a game here. Are these really all my forces? Wow. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take this town, which is... Is he going to tell me the name of the town? No? Safi. Alright, cool. So, here I go. First, what's his entrenchment level? Do I know his entrenchment level? Entrenchment level 3. Alright, cool. I'm going to go ahead and try to soften him up a little bit with some artillery and air power. Do it! That definitely pissed them off a little bit. Cool. See if I can clean them out here with my heavy weapons infantry. This is U.S. First First Engineers 1941 pattern. The name, the number of the units aren't historical. It's just randomly assigned by the computer. If anybody wants a uh, unit named after them, let me know. Uh, we'll go ahead and put you in command of that unit here in the chat, and then we'll see how you do. So, U.S., right now, 1st U.S. Engineers is going after the uh, Vichy, uh, what is that, 9th Vichy Colonial Infantry, who's been reduced to 2 entrenchment and 60% strength. This might be still a hard battle. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spare my troops. I'm going to bring in some uh, B-25 Mitchells to bomb his ass first. Do it! All right. So now hopefully that has reduced his entrenchment even further. Can I switch back to... All right, I knocked him down to five. His entrenchment is now one. So hopefully now I can uh, clean him out of there. Let's see. Engineers, get it done. Yep, we got it done. 
Although I did take 30% losses, I now occupy that city. Uh, that thing is mine. That's an enemy target, right? French Mountain Infantry. Oof, that's not good. Oh, Free French. Those are mine, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's v it's, this unit here is Free French. Free French versus Vichy French. Mm. That's going to be bloody. I can't believe this is all I have. I have 783 prestige points. Once I take a port, um, I should be able to bring in more forces. Um, oh, it looks like I do own a port up here. Once I own a fort, I should be able to bring in, bring a. Oh, I'm sorry. Once I own a port, I should be able to bring in some more forces. So after I bombarded that town with this artillery, I moved it to the south, as you can see. I don't know if there's anybody in there, but uh, I'm gonna find out. And I wanted to get him where he would be in range next time, next turn. There is somebody in there. Do not attack him, because he's got artillery right next to him. Oh, that sucks. Dude, I so do not have nearly enough stuff here. Look at this mess. Alright, P-38 lightnings. Get out of there. Damn it. That did not work at all. There we go. That was better. Occupy that town, please. All right, cool. So now with this port, I should be able to buy some forces. And I, I think it arrives in the port. And I'm trying not to send too many... Uh, Infantry units, or I'm sorry, too many armored units into towns. Who's this? More Vichy French infantry, entrenchment level three. I wish I had more artillery. I wish I had some coastal bat, some some coastal bombardment from some warships. But the scenario doesn't uh, give them to me here. That was nice. I'll take that. Um, I'm playing on intermediate setting, if anyone's uh, curious. Okay, so I think that's all my units. Enemy unit, enemy unit. That's an enemy port up there. What, what, what town is that? Tangiers. There's Casablanca. There's where um, Patton didn't do quite so hot. And again, in Patton's defense, nobody did. Americans were, again, the uh, mother of all expansion teams. Oops, close that up. Sorry about that. Alright, so can I buy anything yet? I have, ooh, a thousand points. Holy crap. Alright, I need to definitely buy some things. Tanks. What kind of stuff should I buy here, folks? Oh, because Science Teacher says, every time I get command of a unit, they die a horrible death. Oh, well, let's not have that then. Pretty please. Um, Jennifer Lemon also says, the unit may haunt my nightmares, but I love the sound of the tanks. Well, we can turn the music off, except, hell no, because I love this music. This is the music of my early 20s right here. I love this stuff. <laughs> um, so what am I going to buy here? Oh, you know what? You guys are not seeing that dialogue box. That is so bizarre. I've got a huge dialogue box open where I'm looking at a menu of units to buy, and I'm asking you guys what I should buy off of it, and you guys can't see it. I'm sorry about that. I do not know why it's doing that. That's kind of trippy. I'll hurry up through the buying process then. I don't want to waste your time. You know what? More Shermans is never a bad thing.
Yeah, it appears in the port. Or adjacent. Oh, man, I want to light some people up here. Uh, I'm going to buy a tank there. And because it's giving me extra money, I'm going to buy some more tanks. Because why not? Tanks are fun. I hope this scenario is not too easy. Uh, there's probably a crap load of Germans over here, so I'm going to go ahead and build some tanks to go there. And then I'm going to go ahead and save some money, because I want to save some money um, so I can rebuild some of the units that I've really... Uh, that, I've, that I've already taken some damage. It's always cheaper to buy... I'm sorry, it's always cheaper to uh, P38 Lightning. I will buy a little bit more air power. It's always cheaper to... Um, Excuse me? It's not letting me buy the... Oh, no. It charged me the money. It didn't let me deploy it. Maybe it... Oh, that's weird. I hope I didn't just throw away 456 points. Okay, anyway, you guys saw where I purchased one new tank and a second new tank, and uh, we'll see what happens um, next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and end the turn and see what the uh, enemy does. AI is in progress. Oop, yep, that, free, that French artillery is bombarding my uh, my free French artillery. So did it really just rip off my... That would make me a little upset. <laughs> I think it did. I think it just ripped me off. What the deuce? Oh, no, it didn't let me buy it after all. Good. And it still won't let me buy it. What the heck? Am I out of, uh... Well, as long as it didn't take my money. All right, I guess I'm going to have to win this with the air power I have. All right. So down here, I'm going to uh, unpack this artillery. And uh, bombard this enemy um, garrison unit that's in range over here. Outstanding. Now, I'm not going to attack his um, his infantry right away. Because he's got artillery adjacent to it. And that means that artillery is going to bombard my guy. Basically, he gets defensive artillery support. I am going to use this free movement phase to come down here. Now, my artillery will be able to bombard his artillery directly next turn. So, I'm thinking one turn in advance. I'm going to use some air power to, again, soften up a little bit of his uh, artillery. And now I think I'm going to attack his artillery with my infantry. I want to clear out that artillery first. Okay, cool. Alright, this assault down here is going to get a little bloody... Oh, it will let me attack. Ooh, that was horrible. I'm going to lose that I'm going to lose that unit. I'm going to lose my engineers. No! Because I'm going to get counterattacked by that 8 Vichy French unit. Is going to counterattack my 2. That's all that's left of my uh, US engineers. My only hope is that um, those engineers are right next to some pretty good American artillery. So I'm hoping... That defensive artillery might break up the Vichy attack. Or he might not attack me at all. I'm going to spend some prestige to build these guys up. They took too much damage last turn. Same with these guys. Now that is their turn, unfortunately, and it does cost me money. But it's worth it. It's much, much better to rebuild damaged units than to, you know, um... What's the word, uh... To, to build them, you know, new from scratch. So I already know, because it's kind of already in my line of sight, like what I know, so it's what's, what's lit up. This tank battalion already knows that this town is uh, open. So I'm going to just basically take that town on the march, and I'm going to recon and see what's in this town. I want to consolidate, because right now I've got two lodgements, and they're separated by this big stack of German, uh, or I should say Axis, Axis Hell Forces. There might be some more Vichy units hiding in here. In fact, I'm almost certain there are. Sure enough. 
and I don't want to attack. Because again, that's tanks directly into infantry in a city. It's not good. It's not a good combination. I'm going to at least bombard him a little bit first. Oh, we've now spotted some German forces. And when I say German, I mean German. Those are German armored cars. And uh, more Vichy French Colonials. Okay, I can move to any of these lit up hexes. Actually, no, I can't. I can move into this one. I, I know there's going to be some Germans in there. More Vichy French entrenchment level 4. Yep, yeah, there's enemy artillery. I knew it. I really wish I could buy some more freaking air power. Why won't it let me buy air power? Seriously, I own an airfield, it's right there. Huh. huh. I guess I'll have to buy something else then. Alright, you know what I want? I want some priests. Um, artillery, give me some self-propelled M7 priests. Now it's telling me I'm out of money. Ugh. Something might be wrong with the game, but no worries. I'll go ahead and end the turn. Let's see if my little engineers survive. Ooh, I think they survived. Oh man, my infantry got the hell beat out of it. Alright, the French need some help over here. Pull back! Take him out! Rugged defense! No! Alright, I still won. Thank goodness. Can I undo that move? Stay on rough ground in case those um, light armored cars attack me. They're full strength. They're also elite. Notice they're at 11, which means they have at least one star of experience. So they're in very, very small armored cars versus Shermans. That sounds like a joke. They're, they're, they're good troops. So I'm going to be a little wary of them as I uh, make my approach. All right, then I'm going to rebuild down here a little bit. What I really want to do now is outflank. There we go. And, uh, ooh, German tanks! Yeah, you do not want to mess with uh, entrenched artillery positions. Oh, he's already moved. Alrighty. Du -du -du. Fallschirmjäger. Oh my god. Where are the Germans getting all these excellent troops from? Damn you! That's gonna be bloody. Alright, I'm gonna at least move them south where they're in better rugged ground. And then I'm gonna hit them next turn. This this 10 right here, I'm gonna hit him next turn with air power. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 units. 
because yeah this guy is pretty much cut off but if I attack him now with just one battalion of infantry uh, that looks like US 4th US infantry it's uh, it's not gonna go well like at all Um, okay, I got 734 points. I do not know why it will not let me buy freaking um, air units. So I'm not going to go with air units. I'm going to go with artillery. Give me M7s, please. Alright, at least it lets me buy that. Self-propelled artillery. Never mind tanks. What you usually need in this game is self-propelled artillery. Because, um, trust me, ooh, you know what I really would like, some, really, I don't get to buy any, uh, anti-tank, huh? it won't give me any M, uh, what's the word, M10s, M10s are what won the Battle of El Guitar, I guess that technically hasn't happened yet. Alright, I'm not going to mess with, uh, I know you guys can't see any of this, sorry. I'm just buying some more units. In fact, I'm going to buy a crap load more units, because I'm, all of a sudden these Germans over here, they're scaring me. They got Mark III H's, those are not bad little tanks. You will put a hole in a Sherman with no problem whatsoever. And the German troops are probably better than me. Okay, I've got uh, plenty of money. Um, I think I may not have enough uh, slots. The army only will, the game will only allow you to have a certain number of units. So, okay. We're pretty much maxed out there. I've got some money in the bank left over to rebuild uh, damaged units. I guess I'll go ahead and end my turn. Oh no, who just did that? Oh, I just lost a unit. Oh my god. Where did that come from? Where did you come from? German, Pac-35, 36, 3.7 millimeter uh, anti-tank guns. Oh man, what the deuce? Go away. I'm going to go attack these uh, Germans on this airfield here. Pray for me. Oop, it won't let me go up there. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh, it wasn't that bad. All right, uh, debark, please. Oh man, I don't know who attacked him. Must be some artillery I can't see. I believe these priests can reach that far. Yep, thank you Mr. Priest. Light them up. Combined arms tactics. I'm not sending in tanks, I am debarking my infantry from their half-tracks and sending them in for a street battle. That's how you do it, Monty. There you go. Okay, that worked. I took a, I took another town. Um, that's... Oof, I'm not looking forward to that. 12-point Fallschirmjägers, that means they have at least two stars. They're elite and they're overstrength by 20%. That's going to be a fight. That's not going to be pretty at all. I'm not looking forward to that. 
Where's my artillery? I gotta shell those people like it's Monte Casino. Like there's no way in hell I'm attacking them right now. Even those Mark III's make me nervous. All right, ready? M4 Shermans versus Mark III H's. I'm gonna take the, this rough ground so that if he counterattacks me, I get a little bit of a defensive bonus. I'm gonna attack him out of the mountains. Do it! Ooh! Something went right. I lost zero and destroyed 70% of him, his force. That was sweet. I must have just gotten a really good uh, die roll on the RNG there. Or my little rough ground tactics really paid off. That was awesome. Um, seems like a real bottleneck with those mountains right off the coast. Yeah, totally. Uh, this is kind of how it was. Notice this huge carpet of impassable hexes down here. This is just straight out desert. This is the beginning of the Sahara Desert. Um, as small as the Vichy French uh, forces were uh, for uh, the historical uh, torch landings, they did hold things up for a little while. Um, also, the Americans and British did not go in guns blazing all the time. At least not nearly as hard as they could have, because they were trying to get the French back on our side. You guys got to remember, when, when France collapsed at the beginning of uh, World War II, uh, summer of 1940, um, the Germans took like two-thirds of the country, and then when the, the French surrendered, uh, they, they cut a deal where they were able to keep about a third of their country, and then the deal was very basically, okay, you're government works for us now um, and that includes all of your colonies 1940 the French Empire was almost as big as the British Empire they had stuff everywhere North Africa South America all over the Pacific all over the Caribbean they were or Africa I think I already said yeah they were everywhere um, Vietnam technically starts right here and that's a whole tension I won't get into um, but what winds up happening is these uh, individual garrison commanders or governors kind of have a choice. Their government fought a war and lost, and the new legitimate government by international law is the Vichy French. And you're, when you're in the military and you get orders from your new capital, and they say, look, we've lost, we've cut a deal, you work for the Germans now, a lot of them obeyed that. Um, because of, again, when you're in the military, you obey the civilian authority. That's how it works. A lot of them, however, of course, said, you know what? We ain't working for the Germans, man. I don't care who you are. I mean, come on. They're our enemies. They just overran our country. We're going to join the British, and we're going to join the Americans when they enter the war, and we're going to carry the fight on. Um, so you have these colonies that some of them went to the Axis, some of them went to the Allies. And there's major, major fighting. Uh, sometimes between French units, uh, Vichy French versus Free French. A uh, good example of this was Syria. I think it was June 1942. Another big battle was Madagascar, Operation Ironclad, November 1941. I, I may totally have that wrong. It may be, uh, I think it's November of 41. Uh, we have to invade Madagascar of all places. Or I should say the British, along with the Free French, have to invade Madagascar. Chad. All these French colonies. And the biggest one, of course, as we see here, wound up being French North Africa. And we're trying to get them back on our side. So they sent pamphlets, they sent leaflets, they sent radio messages. Hey, French, we are invading your colonies. Don't shoot at us and we won't shoot at you. The Germans on Omaha Beach didn't get that courtesy. They just bombarded the hell out of them and they came ashore, you know, obviously. A fast way to take a lot of extra casualties is to warn the enemy you're coming. But we were trying to make them not our enemy, as, guess, as I guess what I'm trying to say. In my long-winded and not really uh, requested, not really solicited uh, explanation there. Alright, so I'm just making sure that... Uh, is there a hotkey for this? Like Shift N or something? No. Close. Alright, never mind. I just want to make sure that I used all my units. Alright, how much money do I have? I only have 153 points. So, I can't really buy anything. No worries. End the turn. Leave me alone, Mr. Germans. Okay, the Germans didn't do anything. At least not that I could see. Huh. 
I'm about ready to lose this game. I have to take all these yellow objective hexes before the end of turn 10. Disembark. And attack. More artillery! Oh my god, what is going on down here? What town is this? Maraca? Damn you, man. That's the second time I've had to clear out that artillery. out of here so yeah I think I may lose on turns Oof. what's in there US 44 uh, US uh, second infantry disembark and finish off those tanks that's the way you do it Didn't do anything. Oh boy. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. I just got the hell shot out of me. Did you see that? Broken defense, I got the hell shot out of me again. Oh my god, I told you those false makers were going to be really tough. Oof. That was nasty. Who's next in the meat grinder? 4th U.S. Infantry, I hope you wrote your last letters home. You're going in! Oh man, I mean, we're going to get them with numbers, but we are just grinding away on these guys. Oh my god, that was horrible. Um, what's this guy worth for ammo? He's got six left. Alright, I gotta start working these guys over. I'm about ready to lose on turns over here. I gotta buy some more stuff. Please let me buy some more stuff. It's not letting me buy anything. I can buy that. Oh, I just don't have enough money. Okay, no worries. Um, I'll buy it next turn. Oh. End. Come on, Germans, go away! I just lost a unit. I am getting the hell beat out of me. Check out Mr. Chad here. Are you sure it is on intermediate and not hard? No, it's just it's just on hard, and I'm not uh, I'm not doing uh, I'm not doing so hot. The only thing that I think might be screwed up is not letting me buy any more aircraft. Well, now it definitely won't because I don't have enough money. But before it wouldn't let me buy more aircraft. That was kind of weird. And the Germans are just buying all this stuff. Where do they keep getting all this money from? Oh man, I hope I didn't give the Germans too much money. Okay, I took that city. Of course there's more elite German infantry in that town. Oh my god. Anti-tank guns. I'm going after them with um, infantry first. Yeah, 
I, I don't know. I think I made it may, maybe made a mistake. I might suddenly uh, uh, may actually have to use a little bit of a cheat code here. Control alternate shift. C. You know what? Let me not get desperate enough to get to cheat. But um, <laughs> I may wind up using a cheat code here shortly. Get them out of there, please. We can defense my ass. Uh, ammo three. He's almost out of ammo. Get him back to an airfield. Will you please piss off? Thank you. Good God almighty. All right, we, we got a little bit of a breakthrough down here in the south. God bless. I don't want to send them over there. I want to rebuild them, but I don't want that guy to get rebuilt either. Die. Finally. Okay, cool. We took this town over here. We have our coast more or less secured, except for this, these two objective X's there. And I know there's some German Fallschirmjäger up there, so that's that's not going to be good. I've got some decent money. I'm going to see what I can buy, because uh, I'm going to need it straight out. What I really want again is is artillery. Cool. Let's end the turn. Let's see what's what. Ally turn seven. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose on time. Oh no! Don't uh, underestimate our forces. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not cheating yet. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Uh, I have four turns left. Um, I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Infantry first. I mean, I'm definitely going to win. Now it's just a matter of... Uh, am I going to do it in time? Alright, that's mopped up. Bombard these fools. Good deal. Move within range of both of these objective hexes with my M7 priests. Yeah! Now I got a little something to add to the argument, you son of a bitch. Alright. Um, air power phase. Actually, those two are not objective hexes. That bunker and that, that little port up there that is uh, Tangiers are not actually objectives. So, actually, maybe I will get this done. These Germans are cut off in a pocket in this, these two ports, and they know it. They're fighting like cornered animals. They know it. And by that, I mean they're fighting really hard. All right, my bitchels uh, took, spent their turn on an uh, airfield. They're 100% ready to go. So I'm going to start bombarding these fools. I know there are heavy German units over here. What? Damn it, man. Well, at least he spotted him. Let me not be uh, rushful and wasteful. I'm not going to attack uh, enemy anti-tank guns with infantry and half-tracks. That's not going to go well. I know I'm under a, a bit of a rush here, but I'm still going to take half a turn to uh, rebuild my little... Eastern Battle Group there. Wow, I just spent some hell of money. It's going to be 
tight. It's going to be tight, folks. Let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, I, I screwed something up. I gave the Germans way too much money. Um, air power phase. Tank. For That's not what I meant. Can I undo that? Um, shift. Okay. Damn you! That's not what I meant. Take turn off the air power. All right. Can I please select my tanks? Okay, I got one of them. One objective X. Oof. I'm losing that little battle. Don't rush him. In fact, don't even get within range of him. You can hit him next turn. That was dumb. Although, he's going to retake that airfield. Okay, I will do that. I'm going to accept the risk. Bombard these fools. That was nice. Move him up. That way he can attack both of these hexes next turn. More anti-tank guns. I'm going to do that with infantry first. Disembark. So if you attack a unit several times in a turn, the first one is always the riskiest. That's when the enemy's entrenchment level is highest. And I'm trying to make sure that... Uh, that's always with the best unit. There's a certain almost rock, paper, scissors kind of a thing where it's like, look, if you have to attack infantry, do it with artillery first. If you have to attack tanks, do it with anti-tank guns or other tanks. If you have to attack anti-tank guns, for God's sake, do not send in armor. They call them anti-tank guns for a reason. And even worse than that is infantry in armor, lightly armored vehicles like half-tracks. So now that he's been hit at least once, his entrenchment level is zero. He's got... Not quite one star of experience. I have, I outnumber him almost two to one, ten to six. I have more experience than he is, and he is not entrenched. So I'm going to go for it. He gave up. He surrendered. Sweet. All right. It's time to uh, pressure the enemy here. Has this unit gone yet? He has not gone. I'm going to reinforce him with elite replacements. Now I'm going to go to air units. How are you on ammo? Oh yeah, this is the guy that I just re uh, that I just re uh, refreshed with ammo and fuel. Okay, guys, I might actually pull this off. Up here is a bit of a mess. I've got these two objects. Oh no, I just took one. I've got that last objective hex and this one, but I've only got like two turns left. And that guy is dug in, man. Entrenchment level 7. Oh my god. He's only Vichy French. So he doesn't have like German weapons. But he's got 1 star of experience. He's got 11 strength points. And he's entrenched at 7. Then again I'm going to bombard him with 2 pieces of artillery next turn. Plus air power. And I'm going to hit him from at least 2 sides with tanks. So. Yeah. This little. What, what, what battle is this? Uh, oh Casablanca. There you go. Just as we saw historically. That's the Casbah at Casablanca. That was one hell of a fight. November 1942. I think that's everything. I don't really have enough money to buy anything else, so I'm going to end my turn. He came after me with anti-tank guns, huh? That didn't go too well for you, did it? Okay, I have two turns left. Hello, Rasmus! A week off made me forget this is Wednesday. Yeah, we don't normally... I mean, our Wednesday, Rasmus, is going to be like off and on. It's no longer like an official day. Um, but, yeah, we'll try to stream something every Wednesday when we can. But, uh, yeah, our bi-weekly... Our, um, yeah, our bi-weekly podcasts are definitely still on schedule. And our... Uh, 
excuse me, our, uh, our Sunday games. Either me or Bill will stream something every Sunday. Wednesday is going to be kind of a target of opportunity kind of thing. Okay. I got to do this right. I only have a very few number of turns. I got to be smart about this. Here I go. Air power first. Did nothing. That's okay. No. Damn, I hate when that, that one part of the interface. Oh, I did it again. Oh, you're going to make me want to... Turn off the air power. There we go. Artillery, bombard them. I have some kick-ass infantry. 7th U.S. infantry is actually pretty badass. They're, except they're a little low on ammo. Okay, I'll send them in first. Do it. Who he surrendered! I own that objective hex. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. German Fallschirmjäger dug in super deep, so I thought that was going to be a lot tougher than it was. But good U.S. infantry, although they did take a hell of a lot of losses. Look at that, he's knocked down to four. That was a hell of a battle there at uh, Bonet. All right, cool. Let's, uh, I mean, I think the battle's going to be over by the time these reinforcements get there, but... Okay, over here where things may not be so hot. Unlimber the artillery. Bombard the objective X. Bombard the objective X. Air power. Bombard the objective X. He's gonna get anti-aircraft fire. That was expensive. But I don't care. I gotta get that objective X. Actually, to save that aircraft, I want to knock out that air power, that uh, anti-aircraft first. What is that? Uh, two centimeter flak. I got some Shermans that will take care of that, hopefully. Okay, he smoked. Oh, he ran away. Um, okay, done, done, done. That uh, anti-tank gun's going to cost me some grief next turn. And he's probably going to rebuild that unit. I probably should have focused more on him. He's the last guy left. i got to take that hex. I take that hex and I win. Have I used all my units? I believe so. Make sure nothing else clicks. All right, we're going to end the turn. He built up to six. His artillery tried to do something. Okay, last turn. I got to do it. Here it comes. Play that funky music, white boy. Get him back to an airfield just because. All right. Um, the anti-aircraft is smoked, so hopefully my P-38s can now do some good damage on here. Get him back to adjacent to an airfield. Artillery. Do it. I'm out of ammunition. Oh, my God. French artillery. Oh, no, that's American. 75 millimeter uh, field ounces. Bad time to run out of ammunition, my friend. Bad time to run out of ammunition. Disembark. This should do it. Come on, man. Do it. Alrighty, that's it. Here I go, winning the game. Three, two, one. Allied victory. Scenario is finished. You can now review the battlefield. You can also save the log of this game and replay it later and share it with others. Okay, well, I just did share it with others. Um, oh, Rasmus says, uh, chewing my way through a few Sam Adams. Uh, Chris Vasquez says, uh, hello, Jim. How you doing, everybody? Thanks for joining the stream, everyone who's uh, just showing up. 
We're just wrapping up our uh, Operation Torch uh, game here on Panzer General Forever. Again, if you go to Panzer General Forever um, in your Google bar, I think it takes you right to the website. You can download this for free if you want. It's a cleaned up version of, I think, SSI's 1995 Panzer General. You get the original 1995 Panzer General, where you play the Germans. Then you, Allied General, you play the British, Americans, or Soviets. You get Kaiser General, an experimental mod where you can play World War I. And um, you can play something else, KWK or something like KUK. You basically play the Austro-Hungarians in World War One. So, yep, we can now look all around the battlefield. It reveals all the hexes. There are no Axis units left. I have all the objective. Oh, I take that back. There is one point of German anti-tank guns here. What's else? Some more German anti-tank guns. And a, uh, for, a fortified strong point here. And that damn armored car is still running around. He did survive the battle. I tried my best to kill him, but no worries. We have all the objective hexes. For some reason, it wouldn't let me play. Uh, it wouldn't let me buy another aircraft. There might be a limit on number of aircraft uh, units allowed in the game. So, that was Panzer General, everybody. Hope everybody liked it. And, uh... Oops. Let me see here. Did I... Intermediate? Oh, I just started the same scenario over again. Sorry about that. Yeah, so, okay, I got 700 points. Well, let me buy another aircraft. Let me quickly check this out. Um, fighter. It says I can purchase. Yeah, and then it doesn't let me deploy it anywhere. So, yeah, whatever. There must be a limit on how many aircraft you can buy in the game. It won't let me post the link. Um, hold on a second. I might be able to do that. Let me go to my other computer here. And give this a shot. Panzer General Forever. It actually leads to Panzer General Download... Panzer General... Uh, hold on, I'll just post it in the uh, post it in the chat. If I can. So, hopefully there it is in YouTube. You posted it in Twitch already. Cool. Alright, so there it is. Uh, it's now on YouTube, and it's also in Twitch. Um, it's great. You might have a little bit of trouble playing it on Windows 10. I know I, I, know I do. Um, I'm on my old Windows 7 machine. Don't laugh at me. But when you play the really old games, sometimes it helps to have a really old computer. So, um, I now have it in YouTube, Jen, so everything's, everything's cool. It's a couple, um, it's a couple entries above you in YouTube. Alright guys, like I said, that was Panzer General Forever. We are a little Operation Torch minigame. Um, I know it's a short episode, but, you know, no worries, we're not trying to, you know, run a huge stream here late at night in the middle of the week. Um, I know for a fact they're gonna have something for you on Sunday. Um, I think Bill has something going up on Sunday, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, oh, do enjoy your Thanksgiving. I think tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Yeah, please do enjoy your Thanksgiving tomorrow. And, um, yeah, have a great week going forward. For now, this is Ariskany Jim. And, uh, as always, you know, Tango Mike for watching. And, yeah, we'll be in touch very soon. Take care, everybody.